Welcome back to the Wild Cherry Farm. Today I want to take you with me in our garden and do another session of nature journaling. At this time of the year there's so much growing everywhere around us that um, it's quite easy to find something to sketch. If you take something from the wild always make sure that you only take something that's growing in abundance to preserve the ecosystem. So today I decided to take um, a little twig of hawthorn and that's growing everywhere around our garden and in all the hedges are hawthorn. There's a lot of it here in Ireland. So I got these new sketchbooks and I'm going to take one of them and we'll start it today with you. We will also need some watercolors, a pencil and a black pen and some brushes of course. If you find it difficult to start a new journal because of the blank page, you can just, first of all, take the next page. So you can always do the first page later. That will make it easier, so the first page, if that's what you're afraid of. And then the other thing is, I always try to just start and not even think too much about it because I can always start a new sketchbook later, that's that's better if I'm not happy with this one. And then if you don't dare to start drawing or you don't know how to start, you can look at your species and just take a soft pencil and try to roughly sketch the shape of of your twig, if that's what you're drawing. So you take your pencil and you roughly sketch the, the stem, where some of the leaves go, some of the fruits. And it doesn't have to look good at all in the beginning, because all you're doing really is you're deciding where to put everything on the page so that it's kind of in the right spot. So what I always do is that I sketch very lightly so that I can easily erase it later. And then you can take the pencil and maybe go over it another time a little bit um, with a bit more pressure when you're already sure of where everything goes. And still it doesn't have to look great at all because you're going to go over it again with your black pen later. And also just remember, we're going to learn something about this thing that we're drawing. And we're not making art yet. Of course we're making art as well, but we can leave off the pressure of creating something great and beautiful. We're just playing around. You can take a rubber and um, erase some of the lines that you did in the first light sketch if they're annoying you. So you can take them off. And then the next step is to take your pen, your black pen. I'm just trying out my pen here on the side because I want to see if it's the right thickness. And then I start drawing and slowly go over the lines again.
you're finished um, drawing all the black lines, you can erase all the pencil lines. And then the next step is to add some color. So we're going to look at our plant again and what colors it has and then we start mixing up some some colors that we can use. Again we're going from light to dark colors. So we'll see what what is the lightest color and it's kind of a yellowish green here. So I'm going to mix something that's comes close to it. And then it's just coloring in your picture, which is really nice and relaxing and meditative. I loved adding the different shades of red. So again, I started with the light red and then I started adding some darker red. Where the shadow is. Also wanted to um, create this highlight effect um, on the berries, the hawthorn berries, and um, to be able to do that, I took a bit of water on the brush and put some water on the in the spot where I wanted to have the highlight, and then I used um, a tissue. To take the water off again and it also takes a bit of the color off to create a highlight. Another way of doing it is wetting your brush and 
putting a drop of water in the spot and then drawing your brush. I'm only doing it here with my fingers, taking, squeezing the water out of the brush and then taking the water off the page again. My sketchbook isn't actually a watercolor sketchbook, it's just a normal one, so I have to be careful not to do too much of this or else the, the paper comes apart. And lastly then I um, mixed some brownish orange to draw, to paint the spots that are on the leaves. And actually while I was sitting there in the sun drawing, it was so warm and dry that the hawthorn leaves started shriveling up and changing shape. So it was kind of difficult to even draw and paint it because it kept changing shape. But still, I liked how it turned out in the end and it was really enjoyable and a very enjoyable way to spend an hour in the morning drawing and painting. So then I looked up the exact name and the Latin name and added it to the picture. I also wrote down the date and I always draw a little picture of the weather and sometimes write something next to it if it's warm or cold or cloudy or rainy. And lastly I added a bit of text at the bottom and that can be anything you want. It can be something that you observed or that you're wondering about or even something about your drawing experience like how it went today, how it felt for you. It's always nice later to look back over it and and read all these little things and it also looks very nice. So I hope you enjoyed today's video and thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon again. Bye!